Welcome back, everyone. We've explored the foundations of collaborative production of information and how it drives successful project delivery. In this lesson, we're diving into another very important topic, Open BIM principles and tools. Now, Open BIM helps us to ensure that teams can exchange information seamlessly. And by using open standards and open processes, we can break down many of the barriers we can increase efficiency and streamline people's workflows. In this lesson, we'll be covering the open BIM principles like IFC and BCF and others, and about how that helps to collaborate better across different platforms that we use. The Building Smart Data Dictionary or BSDD for short, and how that standardizes construction data like a dictionary would. And the IDS process, the information delivery workflow, which ensures data requirements are clear and structured so that machines can read them. And finally, the COBE workflow to make sure that we're organizing data that can be delivered as an asset information handover in a more practical and organized fashion. Now let's talk about common frustration. Many of us have probably faced interoperability issues with closed BIM workflows. Imagine you are working on a project and everything seems fine until bam, you are hit with this. Yep, you got the wrong file format, your software doesn't support it, and now you're stuck. You have to recreate or fix broken data. This is the exact problem that CloseBeam creates. Teams are forced to work within logged ecosystems where exchanging information is tedious and error prone. Yep, so what exactly is OpenBIM? OpenBIM is all about using open standards so that we can share data seamlessly, regardless of the software you're using. Think about sending a PDF versus a PowerPoint or a slides deck or a Prezi file. I remember so often how I would share something and somebody would open it on another, maybe a Windows versus Mac formatting issue. They would open it and it would present different fonts, for example. Well, with a PDF, anybody can open that and they'll see the same result no matter what software they have. Exactly. OpenBIM promotes interoperability by using formats like industry foundation classes and BIM collaboration formats. This means team teams can exchange information without worrying about compatibility issues between tools. Architects, engineers and contractors can all collaborate using their preferred software and everything connects smoothly. Yep, absolutely. This is an example of the Open BIM workflow. It kicks off here with a key service from Building Smart called the BSDD or the Building Smart Data Dictionary. It acts as a central hub of all of the terms that people can search through and get the same results so that everyone speaks the same language as they define their information requirements. From this dictionary, we use the Information Delivery Specification or IDS for short which is allowing teams to create standardized formats of information requirements so that everyone can understand exactly what the requirements are. The IDS allows us to define these requirements, create deliverables and check information. It makes sure that everything can be aligned and works perfectly together. This is a proactive information management loop. And by following this workflow, we remove a lot of the inefficiencies and the waste that is often caused when defining and creating these deliverables using tools like Excel or a bunch of different maybe spreadsheet tools or potentially PDFs as requirements. If we're creating it in a much more standardized way, teams can understand, create and check these deliverables more clearly. But of course, not everything always goes smoothly. That's where the reactive steps come in. If exceptions arise like coordination issues, clashes or uh, deliverables that don't meet the IDS requirements, we can use uh, the BIM collaboration format, BCF for short. BCF helps us to report issues and communicate them. And actually each and every team member will see the issues in the same way in their native uh, environments so they can be resolved quickly. While we prefer to fix everything proactively before submission, BCF provides a streamlined workflow for finding, reporting and fixing those exceptions when they happen. Let's talk about challenges we face in an industry when it comes to these standards and processes. We often hear all projects are different or my project's unique, some form of that. And I've got my own standard. I don't need your standard. Lots of companies maybe establish their own ways of working, their own processes and their own variations on a lot of different things, which can feel really necessary to drive projects forward sometimes. On top of that, accessing standards can sometimes feel like a real hurdle. A lot of these standards are shared as static PDFs or Excel files, making it 
challenging to implement and integrate them into our workflows. That's why Building Smart came up with a key solution, which is the BSDD, the Building Smart Data Dictionary, and the IDS, the Information Delivery Specification. The Building Smart Data Dictionary, the BSDD, is an online service that stores all the important information, terms, properties, units, translations, and relations. It helps ensure that everyone in the project speaks the same language and uses consistent standardized definitions. Essentially, it's like the building's industry-owned digital dictionary. And then the IDEAS is a standard for defining information requirements in a way that machines can understand. So instead of unclear or inconsistent requirements in multiple PDFs and Excel files, IDEAS provides a clear and structured way to communicate what information is needed, when it's needed, and how it should be delivered. And in Planoly, it's very simple to create an IDS, an information delivery specification. Let's show you how. The first step is to select a dictionary to create from. So we go to the project dashboard and in the project settings, we can select the data dictionary that we want to choose from. Here, I'm going to choose the Uniclass 2015. Next, I'll simply go in and start typing. And by typing wall, it will search and find all of these different variations of different types of wall, we can select the masonry wall and see that the classification code is also automatically added. And we can have the definition of an entity type of IFC wall. Once it's created, we can create a requirement on a material maybe. And that is a structured set of information that then needs to be delivered at a certain phase. And by simply clicking to export an IDS file, then that's done, it's created, as simple as that. So we've created that requirement and we can also quickly generate others from potentially projects that we've done in the past. So that's how simple IDS can be, but have you ever tried delivering Kobe data effectively? Have you ended up with a massive spreadsheet like this and thought to yourself, what is all this? What on earth is it? But here's the thing, delivering Kobe data doesn't have to be that overwhelming either. It's all about understanding how we can simplify its creation and its delivery using smart tools and workflows. So let's clear up the confusion and dive into how Kobe works and how you can deliver it efficiently. What we are looking at here are three simple but powerful steps that streamline this workflow and reduce the manual effort. So let's break it down. First is the requirements. Here you define the information requirements for your project in a simple way, exactly like we have already covered in the series. These can be packaged into templates like the ones we use for Kobe data and assigned to specific project milestones. This sets clear expectations for each step. Next step is the verification step. This is where the real magic happens. The model is checked automatically against those requirements to ensure quality assurance. The system flags if anything is missing or incomplete, and you can immediately see what needs to be corrected. Finally, we have the export step. Once all the requirements have been verified and everything checks out, you can automatically export the data, filtered for just the data that has been requested. No more wrestling with massive spreadsheets. This integrated workflow saves time and reduces the errors. The great part about this process is that it's far more efficient than manual work, it's also reliable, automated, and ensures the smooth handover at every single milestone. So you can iterate through this process many times. Let's see how this works in action. Firstly, in the scope module, you can define all of your project information requirements. Here, we're looking at the library and picking using a filtered set of tags, which information requirements we would like to bring in. I can select all of them and add them to the project. And then as we see all of them in the project, I can then filter for the ones that I would like to assign, again, by using specific tags. And when I have those filtered, I can then either select them individually or I can select all of them at the same time. In the grid, I'll start to filter for specific milestones and specific teams and tasks that I would like to assign these to. And then once I'm ready, I can simply click the box to assign all of those requirements to each of those tasks. And we can see them all underneath each task so that we know exactly what the requirements are for which elements on the project. Once we've done that, we can then see the model and check the model against those requirements. 
And once the model's checked, we can then export the Kobe data automatically. What that will do is pull all of the values from each of the elements on the model and filtered just for the requirements that we are asking for and create us an export for the handover data. And it will all be in a format that's very familiar to people that have used Kobe before. Here we can see all of the Kobe data for the components, the systems, the zones, all neatly compiled into a single spreadsheet with one click. Planoly simplifies that entire process from defining the requirements to verifying the models and also to automatically exporting those as a final handover set of data, making it accurate, efficient, and hopefully a lot less stressful. So remember, don't plan late. Plan early. With Planoly. We'll see you soon on the next one.